everyone and today I am reviewing for you two new Lush perfumes. They are part of the range that was initially exclusive to the Lush perfume library shop in Florence and they are now available very limited time online. You can get 30 mils of all of the range online and then they will be available in some stores and they are available in some stores now at the 100 mil mark, I believe. So the two that were my favourites when I went to the Lush event where they were unveiled, uh, one of them is called Frangipani and this was sent to me by Lush. Thank you very much, Lush. Frangipani is this one. And I had sprayed this about an hour or so ago on here. Frangipani is, as you may expect, you have the Frangipani floral, which is very similar to the tiara flower, but it opens with a really strong and quite sharp almond note, but that doesn't hang around too long. Then it really mellows out and blends with the florals. And I get a moment of it being a bit soapy, but anyway, we're going to give it a full review because that's going on my left wrist. Brandy Panny on my left wrist. Time check, it's 10 to 12. Lunch time again. And then we are going to go on my right wrist with Sappho. This one's a very rich tobacco, iris and jasmine. I really can't tell you at the moment what my favourites are. They seem to jump from one to the other. This is... It's a very musky and powdery, deep and warm. I'd say this is the sexiest of the two. Probably my favorite, I think, but I'm gonna come back to that. So that's going on my right hand wrist and I will come back to you in a bit with some more thoughts. Right then, so the fragrances have been on my wrist for a good 15, 20 minutes. And what I've done so far is I dropped off something at my friend's house and I've been to the post office and sent something from there. Now I'm on my way to go sniffing at Blue Water. I want to smell some new stuff. There's a lot of new releases at the moment. I've got a list of things I'm gonna try and look out for. And obviously whatever I discover and find, I will share it with you lot because that's what I do. But today, obviously, um, this video is all about Sappho and Frangipani from Lush. So if we go to my left wrist, that was, yeah, the left wrist is Frangipani. And that's got a, a mild green tone to it. Oh, hang on. I have to concentrate on driving because we've got a lane closed just here. It's, um, it's not normally this busy at this time of the day here but they've closed a lane off so I have to pay attention I don't want to drive into the bollard and have everyone take the piss out of me left wrist frangipani is a slight greenness I would say there's a hint of freshness but it's quite a deep fragrance it's not a particularly fresh fragrance it's more of a deep fragrance with a fresh layer on the surface the almond note the really bright and super sweet almond has already gone so it's now much less sweet and it still feels nutty and warm so if you think about things like tom ford's noir uh, noir pour femme yeah, it's kind of um, exotic in the way it smells but the florals aren't really rich and heady and bright they are definitely dark this is quite it's quite a mysterious fragrance it's quite dark where am I going? That's it. London bound M2 I need to head for. So it's um dark, mysterious, floral. It's a little bit powdery. In fact, it's a bit more than just a bit powdery, but it's not a powder bomb. There's this 
the sweet almond is still there but it's just not as bright and sweet but it is definitely still lending a hand to how things are going going to talk about Sappho now. And once I negotiate my way across here, here we are. Right, we're in the right lane and now we're going to talk about Sappho. We've got a lane of traffic here. This one is definitely irisy, but there's a hint of sweetness. So it's not mega sweet. Again, this is, um, it's less sweet than frangipani actually. Neither of them are particularly sweet. This has the earthiness that iris can bring. So bear in mind, this one is made with natural, whoop, bump. <laughs> this is what all our roads are like in the UK. They are filled with potholes. I don't know if that's the same in other countries, but our roads always got loads of potholes in particularly after the winter. We haven't even had any snow yet. So they, if we get snow, then they will get worse. So there's, uh, it's almost like a chocolatey feel without it being a blatant chocolate. There's a chocolatey vibe. Like if you imagine powdery chocolate, powdery dark chocolate from a distance, it's got this feel. Now there's no cocoa absolute listed and it's not that chocolatey, but I'm just trying to give you how a feel for the fragrance. There's tobacco absolute in here and jasmine. The jasmine doesn't overtake things. It's almost like a jasmine incense kind of feel. Again, imagine incense scented, jasmine scented incense from a distance. So again, it's very abstract. And there's a really beautiful sweetness coming through and I'm not entirely sure. This one might have some vanilla. I need to double check that. I believe I could smell a little bit of vanilla coming through, which I really like. And that might be adding to my feeling of a chocolatey feel. So for now, it's, it's again, it's a bit powdery. Definitely an iris and it's a powdery, slightly earthy iris tobacco absolute I think is lending it some richness and some smoothness and I feel like there's a little bit of a sweetness coming through from vanilla but it is a natural vanilla which is less sweet in general than the vanilla notes that you might be used to if you think of the average designer female fragrance the vanillas in those often go more cupcakey this is no cupcake fragrance at all I think I'm going to leave it there for the moment and I'll come back to you in a little bit. So we're now exactly an hour in. I've just parked up at Blue Water and I've noticed on my left wrist, frangipani is starting to smell quite a lot like how I recognise heliotrope. Heliotrope is a powdery almond vanillic scent. It's a floral but it is in a lot of gourmand fragrances because it gives a vanilla and almondy feel at the same time. And I feel like I'm getting quite a lot of that from this fragrance. I don't know if that's one of the ingredients or one of the notes, but that is definitely the feel that I'm getting. Along with a little bit more of the, uh, the frangipani tiara flower floral, but that isn't that strong. It's for me, the most dominating factor here is a powdery almond vanilla like thing, which is very, very pretty. Now over here, Sappho, I feel like it's not getting uh, sweeter as I thought it was. I was expecting this to intensify in sweetness. I can definitely get an undertone of something that's vanillic. It's still got that smooth tobacco and the earthy powdery iris. And it has this feel, both of these fragrances have this feel that lush, a lot of lush fragrances have this kind of 
they have they have a very unique accord to them or feel and it always feels a little bit like um what you might expect to smell in a head shop there's something very exotic and spiritual new age about the way lush fragrances smell both of these have got that but it's very hard to pinpoint how they how it gets to feel like that i don't exactly understand it it might be a little bit of an incensey vibe perhaps there's just a little bit of an incensey resinous vibe to both fragrances there's something that's giving it a mystical edge anyway so that's it for now and we'll come back with some more in a bit okay then so it's now 10 past three in the afternoon and i am noticing that sappho hasn't really changed a whole lot i think it has got slightly sweeter i do pick up more on the vanilla but i'm also picking up on some other slightly sweet elements really smooth lovely i think that might be the tobacco absolute really coming through it's got smoother the iris is not so earthy and powdery now it feels like the iris is less in the forefront and the tobacco is coming through a lovely smoothness in the fragrance i think it's absolutely beautiful and i'm really really loving it and now let's talk about frangipani so frangipani got more and more musky throughout the wear it's lost the heliotrope type almondy ness about it it's not so sweet I feel like I can still smell florals, but it's more musky, musky and clean. This is a really great fragrance if you want to smell clean and well put together, I think. Still really enjoying both, but I'd say Sappho is in the lead as my favorite. So here we are, seven and a half hours in, I'm cooking my dinner and it's the end of the day so update on the fragrances sappho still has some noticeable smells to it it's even smelling slightly spiced now which i wasn't getting before it is a skin scent at this point with just a touch more than a skin scent actually and the other one frangipani has now completely disappeared or perhaps left the mildest soapy clean smell but basically the fragrance is now gone so all in all my favorite is sappho i think it's just that sweet iris tobacco combination i really really enjoy frangipani i think might be a little bit more interesting in that it does change more on your skin sometimes smelling soapy sometimes smelling musky sometimes smelling like almond other times floral definitely get more of a journey with frangipani and the price is a lot cheaper so frangipani is online 30 pounds for 30 mils so i think that's really worth it and sappho is actually double so it's 60 pounds for 30 mils but in Safa, you have expensive, high quality ingredients, I guess more so than frangipani. And you have real iris, which is an absolute treat and real tobacco absolute and the vanilla as well, I believe. And Safo does have the extra longevity, certainly on my skin. I did try them before bed one night and the next day Safo did win. I also tried them before a shower and again, Sappho survived the shower. So Sappho has extra terrestrial power grabbing onto your skin. That's my thoughts on those two lush fragrances. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.